everyone. I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, here's a picture of a little golden retriever puppy. I hope that makes your day a little better. Now, the internet has been around for a long, long, long time. It has been used to store information, make us laugh, make us cry, and more recently, make us cringe. I think it's pretty safe to say that there are many, many, many internet creators who have garnered a large fan base over the years, for better or for worse. Not surprisingly, these people have a lot to say about the creator in the comments section. And boy, do these people talk. Allow me to introduce you the types of fans on the internet. Number one, the unsatisfied critique. Now this type of fan isn't, you know, it's kind of obscure because they like what you put out, but they don't like, like what you put out. No matter what it is you do, there seems to be no pleasing this person. It's like they want you to do a trend, but then they don't like the fact that you don't like this certain trends. And then they might be unhappy that you try a trend that you actually like, but they didn't like it. They want you to be original with your content, even though you being original with your content is what made them suggest you try trends in the first place. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Hmm. Yikes. I get that you're wanting to like be original and all, but you should really try some on trends now since that will really get your channel out there. Not everyone is gonna wanna see you just doing some random stuff right now. Okay, they wanna see what's in. Sad. <sighs> hey, I know this is trendy and all, but like you really shouldn't do it if you don't like it. Like putting videos out just for the sake of having content is really desperate. Okay, seriously? I miss the old original videos that you used to do. Now you're just scraping the bottom of the barrel for content. RIP originality, I guess. Of course, constructive criticism is good. It's what makes us grow. It's what makes us better. But what these people do is not constructive. It just drives you crazy because you want to give them something that they enjoy, but then they don't want to see it. They are the cat pawing at the door and then once you open it, the cat walks away type of person. By the way, different people are gonna do different things differently. If you like how one person does a trend or does a video, then you should probably stick with that person instead of going over to someone else's channel and telling them that you need to be more like that person. Because if they do act like that person, then you're not gonna be happy because they're copying the other creator. Don't nag someone else to conform just for your taste. Okay, take them as they are or leave them. Number two, the hype man. Now these people are special, as in they go out of their way to make you feel like the sun, the moon, and all the stars in their universe. They will drown you with aggressive affection and take it upon themselves to carry the burden of gassing you up, even if it's the most mediocre thing. Ooh, girl, a workout video? Hell yes. Get your fitness on, sweetie. Become the Dwayne Rock Johnson 2.0. Crush your head with my biceps, girl. Yes. Oh, hold up, hold up. Another vlog. Yes, yes. Let me get my snackies. You know I love me some one-on-one -on -one time with you just walking through the forest, spilling some tea. And go. Oh, hell no, they did not. Hey, 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 listen to me. Do not listen to the haters. They just jelly because they ain't got the cojones to get out of their comfort zone and start something. You do you, boo. You're doing amazing. I hate people sometimes. Oh my God, such queen behavior. Slay. Mm, we stand. Mm, we stand. Can they be over the top? Yes. Are they extra? Without a doubt. Do we love them? Absolutely. Cause these people make you feel like the Steve Jobs, Stephen Hawking, and other well-known smart Steves of whatever path you are walking. Hype men are always appreciated. Number three, the troll. Now I know what you're thinking. Trolls are not fans. They are the exact opposite of fans. But hear me out. They kinda are fans especially when they stalk someone's profile. They are constantly trying to get attention from the creator or people who follow that creator, even though that attention is gonna be negative. These people either don't know the difference between infamy and fame, 
or they are so lonely and cold that they only get warm by the heat of other people's comments. This person is also known to be able to dish it out, but they cannot take it. Little do they realize that their obsession with hating someone actually benefits them. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay safe out there. Bye-bye. OMFG, this was so stupid. Why did you think this was good to post? El Mayo! Especially when it's like a nominate. A the <laughs> A nominate? Oh my god, I can't say it. Yo, you are so stupid! Oh my god, did you even pass English class? LOL! Apparently no one's allowed to make a mistake. Ha 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 ha! You triggered, bro? Why don't you cry about it, Snowflake? Uh-huh. Why don't you cry about it? Cry about it! Uh-huh. Ha 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 ha! Trolls seem to have a delusional mindset that they are hilarious when they are just annoying and fishing for comments. But how does their annoyingness help creators? Because they help push your video through interaction. Even if you get a dislike or a comment telling you how much you suck, the algorithm is still gonna take it as, hey, people are interacting with this video and it's gonna push that video even farther out in the internet, which means more people are gonna see it. So while they laugh in the moment, we laugh in the long term. Thank you so much, trolls got our backs. Number four, the silent supporter. I think most people can relate to this one. This person likes you, right? They support you by watching your content. Okay. But that's it. <laughs> Very rarely will they say something for whatever reason that may be. Maybe they are hella anxious about leaving a comment that a lurking troll will find, or maybe they aren't that interested in what you did. Either way, it's hard to tell because they don't say anything. Like, please, please say something, anything. I don't care what it's about. Just let me know that you are still alive behind that screen. And if I'm being honest, it's me. This is me, I'm the silent supporter. I don't like to comment on things. I don't know why. I think it's because I overanalyze everything that I say and do. And I just decided that the crippling silence of anonymity, I don't even know if that's a word, but just being anonymous is so much better than someone trying to talk to me. Cause not only am I not good at like gauging people's tone over the internet, I can't even do that in real life. Like I don't know if someone's joking or if they're making fun of me or angry. I don't, I don't know, I can't tell. Which it really makes no sense how I'm able to make videos like this. I have no idea. Last but not least, number five, the day one. They might be a best friend, they might be a family member, they might just be some random stranger that you met over the internet. Who knows and who cares? Cause this is the person that no matter what you are doing, they are there encouraging you every step of the way. Even when you are really bad at doing it. I don't know, man. I think that this is just pretty stupid of me to do. I don't care if what you think you're doing is stupid. Do what makes you happy. F what all these other peasants think. Do you and be happy. God damn it. I'm just hella bad at this dude. I don't know why I keep doing it. Everyone else is so much better than me. Baby steps, girl. Baby steps. No one is an expert overnight. This is a learning experience for you, okay? So the next time that you come back and try again, you're gonna be better at this. Now stop crying, put that crown back on your head, and get back on that horse. I'm out of ideas. I, I can't do this anymore. Ideas, you say? Well, I have a few. Do not give up. How many times do I have to keep telling you this? You got a problem, you come to me. You need some ideas, I'm your beat. Now take these and get to work. Ooh. Hello. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, you need some help with the video? Bitch, I'm on my way. I got everything. I got a camera, I got lighting, I got a microphone. I got one of these tripod doohickey thingies and I'm bringing the snacks, okay? I'll be there in five. The day ones and the hype men are eerily similar. I actually don't know how to tell them apart except that the day one is probably like in your life more often 
or has been there for a longer period of time than the hype men. Day ones are pretty much the influencer's influence. And they are so very loved. Love you guys. <laughs> So I think this is a good place to wrap up. And of course, this video is just my take from what I've seen on other people's videos, and it has no seriousness attached to it. For the most part. Anyway, tell me what type of fan you are and if I even missed a type of fan. Either way, comment down below and let me know. Even if it's I suck, I want to hear from you. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again next time. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye!